Okay. 57 truck. Uh, it's on the right side of the shop, so that's good. I've been using it. I've been using it. Exhaust is done. Uh, I drove to work. Been driving around a little bit, shaking it down, and uh, pretty happy so far. It also holds my coffee. So, um, it's got a little grubby since I've been driving it, but. I haven't been driving it that much. I've gone through like a half a tank of fuel, so that's uh, it's all right. I installed some shoulder belts, um, still have some adjustments to do on them because they're a little snug. They fit me now, but they wouldn't have fit me two years ago. So um, they're a little tight for passengers and stuff. So I have to do some adjustments there. Not a big deal. Uh, so far, shakedown is good. I had one issue where I overfilled it. I overfilled the. Uh, the gas hole and it, the vent that I installed on the frame rail vented over. So I had that problem. Other than that, it's been dynamite. video is going to work a little backwards. Um, I picked the truck up from the exhaust shop. A friend of mine did the exhaust, connected just the manifolds to the uh, existing dual exhaust system that he built a few years ago. Um, so I had to put it on the trailer, bring it over there, and then I drove it back. Uh, when I got to the, his shop, um, I stopped in. I was in my Malibu. I pulled in, and uh, there's two big black marks down the center of the road. He's a friend of mine, so I don't care. Um, and uh, he obviously was testing the truck. So uh, I hadn't driven it, and uh, he thought maybe I should take it for a spin and test it myself. So I still have some screwing around to do with the uh, cruise control. I have a stock that is all there, 
um, I've got the wiring diagrams. I've wired it the way I think it should be wired uh, and it doesn't work. So I got to figure out if that switch is compatible with the standalone harness. Um, it might not be. I might have to do just something more simple with a, an on off switch and a push button. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I have a few things, little details to sort out. Uh, the oil pressure switch, which I guess is common on these uh, Gen 3s, is that it pegged all the way full, um, and then you'll be driving along and it'll go to zero, and then it'll go up to full, and it'll go to zero. And it's obviously uh, not out of oil pressure because my engine didn't seize. Uh, I'm going to use it today. I have to uh, get some wheels for my Corsa. I'm going to take them over and get them... Uh, tires put on them and get the work on getting the courser ready for the road um christian if you're watching that's yours we'll get a meet up so you can get it uh, that's uh from dave so um corsa uh, corsa of course got these wheels a friend of mine uh set me up with them uh really looked after me so I gotta get uh, tires mounted on them. They're 14s by 7s. Now, tires are a little tricky to get right now. So what I've got is uh, I bought some 185 60 14s and I'm a little concerned about width. But um, if they don't look like they're gonna go well, then I'm just not gonna use them. I'll uh, return them and order the correct ones. Um, as long as, I was assured as long as they don't leave the shop and don't go on the car kind of thing, that I can return them. Um, now I had seen a guy on the inter interwebs take one of these Corvair hubcaps. Now, this one actually isn't a Corvair hubcap, but that is, that is a Corvair center and retrofit that onto these, uh, wheels. I'm not sure if I can do that, but I brought one in out of my C-can just to have a look at it. Um, it's a boatload of parts that, uh, I've got from a couple different sources, but a bunch of it came with this car. Um, this is all kind of mouse housey. I gotta get rid of this, figure out what I'm doing. Um, have to install a battery cable and a little bit of wiring I do wanna fix up. Uh, four carbs. It's got all these uh, oil pressure sender and inertia switch and all this crap that I don't normally install, but it's there, so. Uh, has to go for safety check. And uh, yeah, but it's running good. I've just had it, you know, around the block a couple times. Um, Needs, needs more of a bath, uh, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm excited to get using it. if this is going to have audio or not because uh, I haven't really done it like this. I've done it with my headset thing on but I haven't really done it with the thing on the suction mount. So we'll see how that goes. I'll just close my garage here. So I'm reading zero oil pressure but I don't have zero oil pressure. I know I don't have zero oil pressure. Uh, it was reading 100 uh, PSI or whatever max when I uh, was driving home from work yesterday. Okay, shop's closing. It's pretty quiet when you're just cruising, but like uh, when you're accelerating, there's lots, lots of noise, lots of good noise.
calibrated. So I believe I'm doing about 80 kilometers an hour right now. Um, when I checked it with my GPS before. We're coming up to temperature now. It doesn't take long to warm up, but it doesn't overheat. The fan seems to work good. I'm not really sure what I'm putting here yet. Uh, I think for now it'll just be a cell phone mount because I got my USB thing here and I got a cord that goes to there for my music. So I listen to Spotify for everything. So there's that. Uh, I was very happy that when I go through the selections on my gauges, because I could only get a mile per hour one that says kilometer per hour here because I'm in Canada and everything's in kilometers per hour. So it says kilometers per hour on the main part. That's kind of handy. I got my rims back, tires on it. They did stretch a little bit, like you can see, like it's, uh, you know, it's stretched a bit for the rim. But when I lay them flat, like on the floor, the wheel doesn't touch the floor, the tire does. So I guess that's a good sign. Um, I think it's fine. I think it's gonna be fine. I, well, it has to be now, because I own them. Uh, they're pretty good price, pretty reasonable. They're A plus brand. Uh, who knows where they're made, um, but for a car that's going to get like 5,000 miles a year, uh, they'll be more than fine for what I need. As long as they stay round and black and don't crack and stuff, they'll be fine, and I think it's it's good. Uh, it is going to bring the car down a bit, so you can see from where it's sitting right now, because these guys here are too, way too high. They're 215, uh, 70 14s. So these are 185, 60, 14s. So it's gonna bring the car down quite a bit, which is good because the wheel wells are kind of full. And uh, and this car has uh, HD springs in it, so it should sit with the nose down just a little bit from stock. Stock, these things hit, sit nose high. Um, all Corvairs do. My 64, you can see it sits nose high. You might not be able to see from this angle, but it does. Truck's working great. Um, one mishap, talk about this box in a second. One mishap, this kind of sucks. I lost my lens to my LED fog light thing. And I really like those, they're very, very bright. I was quite happy with those, they work really well. So, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to look at them and see if I can figure out where they came from or, or what brand they are to try and get more, see if there's a, like, like a name on them or maybe they came from Amazon or something, I don't know. I'll have to look and see or get ones that are close to it because I really like those. And like I said, they're LED, so they're quite bright. Speaking of LED, um, it just makes me think about things. In here is fancy LED headlights, not halo ring ones because I think they kind of look a little off. 
these ones won't look exactly right, but I plan on driving this thing, road tripping it this summer to the East Coast, kind of like what I did last year with my Malibu, with that car. Um, and I, I don't want to, uh, I want to be able to see. So I got some fancy headlights. Uh, I think in there is also my cell phone charger thing that I'm going to put on the dash, at least for now. Um, I get a little tire rub at lock with the steering wheel turned all the way. But other than that, it's really good. I'm quite happy. It's, it's just a cool sounding and working truck. Uh, I did some driving video. Hopefully the audio worked for me talking while I'm doing it. I'm not Jay Leno. I can't really, I don't have the setup to, uh, to really talk and drive too much um, with the GoPro. So if you either hear, heard me or you'll get a music clip in there. Um, other than that, it, uh, I think it's good. I'm happy. Happy. Are you guys happy? You can tell me what you think. Uh, but I got to get to work. I got uh, a car to work on on the other side that I'm not doing a video of um, because it's not mine. And uh, so I'm not doing that. This one's going to be cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting to using this. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to do. I think I mentioned that earlier. I got to get these on. I don't have lugs for it. I looked the lugs that I have. 7, 16, 20 lugs. They're, um, they have a shank on them. I don't want that. I don't need the little acorn guys. So the stock lugs will work, but they'll kind of look crappy. And uh, I'm not sure what to do about the center caps. If you can just buy center caps, I don't really like the look of the black ones, but I really dig the look of this polished lip and the gold in the center. I think it works with the Aztec bronze. It's hard to tell in the pictures, but this, or in the video, but this is Aztec bronze. It's not red. It's not brown, it's like a coppery color. It's kind of different. All right, I filled this thing up. Uh, it doesn't seem to be venting fuel. It's, that's where it vented before. Uh, I tried to fill it up less. Oh no, it is venting a little bit. I tried to fill it up less, but I can see it's venting a little bit. So, probably filled it up a little too much again it'll be a learning curve trying to figure out what the right amount to fill it is um either that or i have to move that vent which uh it was kind of as high as i could put it at the time but we'll see anyway i uh cleared off some of the stickers i didn't like on the back window left some of the ones that i did like uh and added the uh slow car youtube sticker i'm happy Thanks for sticking with me on this. Um, I'll give you updates as it goes. Maybe I'll do a video on putting the headlights in, just something simple like that. Trying to plan on getting it ready to do more road tripping with it and hopefully uh, do a big long road trip with it sometime this summer. Thanks for uh, sticking with me on it. I'm really happy. I'll do a lessons learned video on this and I can compare it to the LS swap I did on the Malibu. Things I would do different now that I've done two of them uh, things that I would do different for next time, things that I will do different for next time, um, because my 55 is going to get something. There's also a bit of a change in plans on the 55, um, which I can talk about maybe later. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you care to, please share with your friends, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can see when I post new videos. Uh, I do them once a week. Thanks for watching.